Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In operation research, let us discuss about methodology of operation research. Operation research is a process of applying advanced analytical methods for decision making and problem solving. It is concerned with examining the real situation of organization to detect the prevailing problems. It is tool that assists the management in managing all operations of the organization effectively. Operation research is a, a scientific method of problem solving that provides quantitative information of better understanding and taking decisions. Operation research performs three important roles that are optimization, simulation and probability and statistics. Optimization means achieving optimum result under given conditions. Simulation refers to constructing models for testing and solution before applying them. And the last one, probability and statistics means making reliable predictions, finding out the risk involved using mathematical algorithms. Under this process, the problem is first divided into many basic components for better understanding and then handled through systematic steps using the mathematical analysis. Operation research enables an organization to efficiency utilizing all resources, minimization and loss of avoiding any resource wastage. The concept of operations research arises during the Second World War and was used by military planners. Methodologies used in operation research process are as follows. Look at here, the operation research methodology. First, define problem, identify the objectives, specify information, measures that opportunity reflect objectives, identify alternative courses of action, Analyze the alternative to understand the consequence of each. Compare the consequence and select an alternative. Present the result and conclusion. Implement the alternative selected and evaluate the degree of success in achieving the objects. Now, further detail we'll discuss. Solving an operation research problem is not a linear process, but the process can be broken into, into five general steps. Here, this inclusive eight steps, but all together we can consider as a five steps, like describing the problems, formulating the OR model, solving the OR, OR model, performing some analysis of the solution, presenting the solution and analysis. However, there are often feedback loops within this process. For example, after modeling and solving an OR problem, you will often want to consider the validity of your solution, often consulting with a person who provided the problem's description. If your solution is invalid, you may need to alter or update your formulation to incorporate your new understanding of the actual problem. The problem description and problem formulation sections correspond to steps 1 and 2 respectively. The computational model section shows how some OR software was used to solve the problem. The results section contains the solution and the analysis and the conclusion section presents the solution and analysis. Let us consider the five steps of OR methodology in more details. Describe the problem. First, you have to describe the problem, what it is given. The aim of this step is to come up with a formal rigorous model description. Usually, you start an optimization project with an abstract description of problem and some data. Often, you need to spend some time talking with the person providing the problems, usually known as the client. That means you have to arrange a sitting with your client and talk about the problems detailly. First of all, you have to understand. By talking with the client and talking with the client and considering the 
data available, you can come up with more rigorous model description required for formulation. Sometimes not all the data will be relevant, relevant or you will need to ask the client if they can provide some other data if you need. Sometimes the limitation of the available data may significantly change your model description and subsequent formulation. Second step, formulation the OR model. The aim this step is to translate the problem description into a valid OR model. That means you have to translate yourself uh, with OR model. That uh, the model is given, the de description is given from the client. You have to, you have to uh, translate this in OR model. OR model uh, after after translating the OR model. The implementation of this step may be quite different depending on the OR model you are using. For example, if you are using linear programming to solve your problem, then formulating an OR model involves translating your problem into a linear program. If you are using simulation to solve your problem, then formulating an OR model entails breaking down the behavior of the system by being simulated into a sequence of event and determining the random variables that drive the simulation. Solving the OR model. Next step, the aim of this step is to solve your OR model just as the formulation steps depend on our OR model being used. This solution steps depends on particular OR model. For example, Solving linear program may be done using the revised simplex method or an interior point method. Often in practice, OR models may, may not be solved completely due to the time constraints. Other algorithms may be partially solved or OR models for optimization models. These algorithms are known as heuristics and terminate with a good solution that is not necessarily optimal. Fourth step, performing analysis of the solution. Often there is an uncertainty in the problem description, in problem description, either with the accuracy of the data provided or with the values of data in the feature. In this situation, the robustness of our solution to the OR model can be examined using the analysis. Analysis involves identifying how the solution would change under various change to the problem data. For example, what would be the effect of given cost increasing or a particular machine failing. This sort, this sort of analysis can also be useful for making tactical or strategic decision. For example, if we invested in opening another factory, what effect would this have on our revenue? Another important consideration in this step and the next is the validation of QR model solution. You should carefully consider what the solution means in, in, the, in terms of the original problem description. Make sure it makes sense to you and more importantly, to your client. Hence, the next step, presenting the solution and analysis is very important. Presenting the solution and analysis. Fifth step, a crucial step in the optimization process is the presentation of the solution and, it, and any analysis. The translation from an OR model's solution back into a Concise and comprehensive summary is an important as the translation from the problem description into OR model. It is encouraged the use of management summaries to present solution and analysis from QR models. Key observation and or decisions generated via OR must be presented in a way that is easy for the client or project stakeholders to understand. Your presentation is also crucial first step in the implementation of any decision generated by your OR model.
if the result of your OR models the and their consequences are not presented clearly and intelligently, this result will never be used. This step is also your chance to suggest future work possibilities. This include periodic monitoring of the validity of your model. After suggesting or models, you have to periodic monitoring have to do. We have periodic monitoring of the validity of your, your model. Further analysis of your solution, looking for other benefits of your client, identification of feature or models. Here, so far we discussed about detailedly the optimization uh, operation research methodology. In future videos, we will do some problems regarding operation research. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.